Good day, my John Adams College and Career Academy scholars. This is Mr. Englehart. Today we are going to do a spreadsheet. All right. With this spreadsheet, we're going to learn how to format numbers, create a line chart, insert an image. Well, we're not going to reinsert. We're not going to insert an image. But we're going to use some functions. We're going to we're going to do all sorts of exciting things with this. And when I say Cleveland sports team attendance, this is also including the Blue Jackets, which we all know is from Columbus. Yes, but let's say I was Mayor Frank Jackson. I'm going to Merrill Lynch, and I want to have a I want them to underwrite a bond for me to introduce a new sports team, and I need a new venue. Let's say I need a new ice hockey rink and i just want to show morgan stanley dean witter whoever that cleveland is a sports team city and we do support our sports teams by our attendance and we will soon see how extremely well cleveland sports teams are even the cleveland clowns have a decent uh, attendance which is yes it's it's i don't know but anyways, with that being said, let's just dive right in. We are going to make this into Cleveland Sports Team Ten Dance. Okay, Cleveland Sports Team Attendance. We're going to press Enter on that. All right, we are going to skip a row. We're going to go down to the third row. I'm going to tab over. Okay. 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016. That is our five years. All right, the Cleveland sports teams we are looking at, the Windians, 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 2002, well, 2012, they had 1,603,596 attendance. 2013, they had 1,572,926 in attendance. 2014, they had 1,437,393. I'm not pulling these numbers out of thin air. I got these off, uh, I believe it was ESPN. 2015, they had 1,388,905. And then they really started becoming the Windians once again with 1,591,667. That was their World Series year, which they did not win thanks to the Chicago trifling team. I don't care which one they all. So we have the Cleveland Browns here with a 533,058 attendance in their 2012, 569, 939, and 2013, five, oops, 539, 400, and 529, 529, 488, and last year, 1516, it was 514,489. And I believe the last 42 games, they've only won four times. That's quite a record. The Cleveland Cavs. Okay, we got the Cleveland Cavs. 663, 882. I think that one's when LeBron was gone. 710, 522. 843042 843-042. And you might be seeing a pattern here because that is a complete sellout crowd. 
All right. One, two, three, four, five, five. All right. So we'll go back down to the Blue Jackets. This, of course, is from Columbus Jackets. All right. 349, 558, 602, 695, 635, 973, 601, 293, and 650, 157. All right. So all of our numbers are in. I am going to go over to the Cleveland sports team attendance, A1 or A1. I am going to go ahead and highlight A1 to F1. I am going to go to Format, Merge Cells. I am going to merge horizontally. Boom. This is just like it's saying it's one cell. Do you see how that goes? All right, I am going up to the Alignment horizontal align. I'm going to go to center align. I am going to go ahead and mold that. And I'm going to probably take that up to a size 14. Why not? Right? All right. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to highlight from B4 all the way down to F7. I'm going to press shift and I will click on that tab. I will go up to format. I'm going to more numbers. I'm just going to go ahead and push the numbers. That will give us a regular number, but as you see it, it's got two decimal points. So I will go up here to decrease decimal places. I'm going to take that so there's no decimal places, there's no hundreds, there's no tenths. It's just going to be full numbers, whole numbers. Boom. Look at that. All right. So we have the commas in there. 1,603. Okay. There we have it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to tally up all these total in all total we'll just make it total all right so we are going to put a function in here and a function will add up all of these numbers right here i am going to show morgan stanley dean witter that our cleveland or ohio sports teams are ready to support this new bond issue that we want to put out there we want to sell some we want a good pricing and we want a good strong backing and to say we've got the we've got the numbers morgan stanley give us a good rate and then they will take it to the market and the market will say oh that's a good rate we are going to save cleveland hundreds of thousand dollars in taxes so let's go ahead and go equal sum it's a sum what we're doing that's sum that's going to add everything from b3 down to b7 and we'll go ahead and close that out with the right parentheses now when i press enter that's going to give the sum of all of these cells added together all right so i am going to go over here i can go to i can go to copy or I can just, as you see, control C. I can click control C, control C. I have copied, I'm going to go to the cell adjacent to it. I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna go all the way to F9 with the shift key depressed. And with that, I'm going to do a control C or I can go up to edit and go to paste but what this is going to do, it's just going to paste that function right into these numbers right here. All right. I'm going to go up here once again. I'm going to do plain numbers. All right. And I'm going to decrease the decimal points. So they're just whole numbers. So in 2012... All right, so it's pretty it's pretty stable within a hundred thousand or so. All right, so there's not more than about ten, twelve percent 
difference variations. So if we put in a new hockey team here in Cleveland, which I would say an NHL team of the Cleveland Lake Erie Monsters, of Cleveland Monsters, uh, whatever you're going to call it. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and... All right, with that being said, we're going to put in a chart. So we are going to go up to insert. Insert. And it's got chart. So I'm going to select chart. As you were. I'm going to actually cancel that chart. I'm going to take that chart. I forgot to do this. All right, so I'm going to go from A3 to F7. There we go. Now I will press Insert Chart. There we go. And we should have chart types coming up. Bar chart, I think that looks like a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we've got a chart type. We're in line chart. That's exactly what we have. All right. I'm going to customize this. I'm going to go to column one. I right, customize. I'm going to go to... All right, title text. I'm going to change this to Cleveland Sports Teams Attendance. All right, of course, I'm going to go back and correct my errors. And Sports Team Attendance, there we go. So we got that. All right, we're going to go back to all right. We're going to go to title and axis. All right, chart title. I'm going to go to vertical axis, and I'm going to put. Number of attendance, number of attendees of uh, and ease. There we go. Number of attendees. See it over there? Number of attendees. Okay, so we have the year, number of attendees. We have a nice looking chart. Okay, with that being said, we are going to go ahead we're going to move this chart so we can still see the numbers all right see how that looks nice and pretty all right so if i were to go to print preview this would have cleveland sports team attendance it would have the the digits and numbers right here all right and look at here so the indians or the windians let's say i put in Five million. All right, so look at that. The chart automatically adjusts. Now that looks kind of silly with all this straight up because we know the Jake or progressive field as they call it now. I'm not very progressive. There we go. We're going to take that back. All right. With that being said, we can sit there and we can insert this over to a document if we so desire. We can print just the chart. We can add another sheet and just have the, the chart on there. Whatever we so desire. But we're going to come up here and we're going to call this Cleveland Land Sports Team Attendance. Alrighty, and with that being said, I greatly thank you for watching, 
And if you guys have any questions or anything else like that, you can always come back and see me. You can email me at imatrifling trifling at gmail.com. Once again, thank you very much. You guys have a great day.